Hey there YouTube, it's Michael here. Um, doing a bunch of videos today. I've been meaning to do this one for a little while. Uh, the reason I've put off on it is because I've been trying to get more games for it. I really love this system. It's called the TurboGrafx-16. Um, called the PC Engine in Japan. Um, really, really cool retro system. I believe it came out in um, 1988. Uh, made by Hudson Soft and NEC. Uh, they're actually still around, making games, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, really under, underrated system. I really enjoyed this system. I really enjoyed collecting for it. Uh, the games are a little more on the pricey side. You know, um, just like most retro stuff, it's um, not as pricey as some Super Nintendo games. But there, some of these games are, are up there. And uh, the, the, the games are really unique. Uh, a lot of these games you're only going to be able to play on TurboGrafx-16. And uh, it came with a few accessories. Um, that's what the controller looks like. Um, controllers have built-in turbo function, which is really cool. There's a lot of shmups for them, so that's really handy. Um, now, th there was only one one controller port for it. Whoops. There it goes. Not going to worry about that. And then you got to get the turbo tap. Uh, I've, I've got like four or five extra uh, turbo graphics uh, c controllers. Uh, I picked this up back in the day uh, when I had owned a game store. Um, people would bring this into me every now and then. It wasn't really that common. But, man, I had a hard time selling that system for 20 bucks. And uh, I, instead of just trying to, to, to sell it for less than 20 I just ended up keeping a bunch of them. So, I, I've got two TurboGrafx-16 systems. I never saw a Turbo Duo come in or the CD um, slot. And I never saw a lot of games come in. I tried to uh, keep most of the games that I found. And um, the games are really cool. They're called Turbo Chips. Uh, or hue cards, they're um, they're just little I don't know like giant memory cards pretty much. So, but I don't want to show some of these games quite yet. But it's a it's a really cool system. Uh, like I said, underrated. The games are super fun. Um, it's a 16-bit system. It's not true 16-bit, but it's pretty close. I do believe there's like two 8-bit processors or something in it. Um, and like I said, most of these games you're going to get on Turbo Graphics. Uh, you're not going to find um, on any other system. So I did want to mention though, um, most of these games uh, you'll find them with the Hue card only. That's probably the easiest way to find them. Some of them will come in and these um, CD cases that hold the Turbo Graphics games. They'll be the size of CD case. That isn't one of them. And then there's actually some that didn't come with the CD case that had like an oversized box. Um, I'm using this as, a, as an example. I don't have any of the oversized boxes. I only really care about the CD cases, but um, there's stuff like uh, Super Adventure Island and Parasol, the Parasol Stars come in a CD case. Um, Magical Chase, the rarest of the rare for Turbo Graphics. Um, it didn't come with a CD case and they'll come in the oversized box about the size of this Deus Ex. Uh, box so be a little bit smaller actually but uh, let's get right into the games man because the the games are the coolest part of the turbo graphics 16 and um, I'll get into some my no I won't get in the hue card only I'll get to this one because this is probably the most common one that you will find and this is Keith courage and alpha zones um, this isn't the original case and, and manual. I got the manual for it, but I don't have the original case. Pretty common game. You can actually find this complete for five bucks if you really want to. It's actually not a bad game. It's not a great, great game, but I actually had some fun playing it. It's definitely worth five bucks. Definitely, um, almost every TurboGrafx system and, and if you find TurboGrafx games in store somewhere, there, you're always going to see Keith Courage, uh, freaking China Warrior, um... There's a couple more that you're going to find that are, are pretty bad and common games. But um, China Warrior wasn't great. Had some huge sprites on it. But um, Keith Courage wasn't bad. And it's, I think it was the game that was that was originally bundled with the TurboGrafx-16. So it's a um, kind of... It's a platformer with some action elements into it. You change into a giant robot sometimes. It's got some RPG elements. Like you, you can buy spells and, and weapons and stuff. Interesting game. Um, not the best game in the world, but it's, it's pretty cool. So it's, it's worth picking up if you can find it cheap. Um, this next game I thought was, uh, really a really good game. It's called Bloody Wolf. I have the original case. Now the, the original cases will come with 
the the label on the side uh they're different colors i'm not sure what the colors entail i i know the orange probably means it's us anything that says turbo graphics on it is going to be a us and then um i did i think if it says hu up in the like upper left hand corner on the on the title it's going to be an import and you're going to have to have a pc engine or a or a, or a special uh card slot in order to play those um but you can play uh, other region pc engine slash turbo graphics games pretty easily that 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 attachment isn't expensive so but this one's called bloody wolf um it's kind of a rambo it, the guy the original guy in the front kind of looks like arnold schwarzenegger um it's reminds me <sighs> I'm not sure what it reminds me of. I, it's kind of a, sh uh, a 360 shooter, kind of in the same terms as like Smash TV or something like that. But it's uh, definitely more war oriented. War oriented. It's a really cool game. It's actually in a lot of top 10 games for the Turbo Graphics. I uh, I recommend it a lot. And um, to find it with the case with this Hue card case, these are the Hue card cases you'll find with it. And uh, with the manual, which I'm missing the manual. Um, and the actual hue card, it'll it'll run you back about fifty bucks. Most of these games are going to run you back about fifty bucks with just how I described with the manual case and the hue card in decent condition. So, and and they they definitely go up from there. There's definitely a lot of games that I want to get for the Turbo Graphics, and it's hard hard to find these games. So, but that's Bloody Wolf. I did want to get into some of these hue card only games, and I pick up hue card only because they're so hard to find. Um, I picked all these up really cheap. Uh, the, the most expensive game, um, Hue Card only game I paid for is called Newtopia. And I paid $30 for it. And I think that was a hell of a deal. If you can find Newtopia for $30 Hue Card only, I highly, I highly recommend this game. It's definitely a Zelda knockoff, but they did a really good job in knocking off Zelda. Um, if, if you enjoyed the, the 8-bit and 16-bit Zelda, Link to the Past, original Zelda, not Link 2, or, uh, Zelda 2, whatever you want to call it, um, but if you enjoy those type of games, this is an awesome game. And they made Utopia 2, which is an even more expensive. To, to find it complete, you're going to have to pay about $150, $200 for it. But really cool game. In my top 10 games as well, Newtopia. Um, if you can get $30 yes, uh, less, Hue Card only, I definitely recommend that game. Another game I highly recommend is called Ninja Spirit. Again, um, with the the box manual and the hue card i you're probably going to pay about 50 bucks maybe a little bit more because i think this is becoming uh turbo graphics games are becoming more sought after and more sought after i went mean, the the system has jumped up in price to like 100 to 120 dollars uh complete so uh, and that i know i mean complete without the box i mean complete with like um you know your um coaxial cable and your power supply and stuff but uh ninja spirit really cool um action game um, if you ever played the original Ninja Gaidens, it's, it's like that, but it's, I think it's actually a little better than Ninja Gaiden in my opinion. Really cool game. I keep an eye out for Ninja Spirit. Uh, if you pick it up, Hue Card only, um, sink about 20 bucks into it. This next game I, I picked up when I owned my store and I didn't see too many copies. I always liked the R-Type games. It's a side-scrolling shooter. Um, you, you probably have played an R-Type game. If you're a retro gamer, if not, it's like Gradius um, and other shmups, side-scrolling shmups, not top-down shmups. But uh, R-Type is a little bit on the slower side of shmup. Um, again, a really cool game. I think you're, you'll be spending about $50, again, for the case manual and everything for it. Uh, again, I, I'd, put, I'd put $30 into this uh, Hue Card only. This is one of the more expensive Hue Card onlys um, in this section here so but it's actually pretty rare I, most of the turbo graphics games are going to be pretty rare you're not going to run into a ton of games at uh vintage game stores at all and most of the time you're going to find like the same five games over and over again it's, re it's really frustrating collecting for turbo graphics 16 but i've been trying to up my collection quite a bit i know i picked up five games now i picked up four games since since um i've been wanting to do this video and i'm trying to collect some more games but i keep on getting sniped on ebay and stuff because eBay is pretty much the only pre only place I can pick up um, Turbo Graphics games these days. But man, uh, these three highly recommend. That's Newtopia, Ninja Spirit, and R Type. Now this next game is um, it was pretty much the mascot of the Turbo Graphics 16. 
Um, and I do believe these came bundled with the system after Keith Courage because it came so popular. Now, there's an NES version called Box Adventure as well. It's the same game, I believe, but it's it's really expensive. I actually own the I actually own the, the NES version complete uh, in the box and manual everything. But um, that one's really hard to find. This one's pretty common, actually. Um, it's, like I said, it's Box Adventure. Really cool platforming game. Um, if you know, this is the, the Mario of Turbo Graphics. I don't know why it's not focusing. Come on, focus camera. There you go. Uh, but really cool. You could probably find this in the same condition. Really good condition uh, with the case manual and, and Hue card for 20 maybe 30 bucks. Um, because it's such a popular game, it goes between 20 and 30 bucks in this condition. You might be able to pick up Hue card only for 10 bucks. So I'd keep an eye out for this one. This is definitely one of my favorite uh, Turbo Graphics games as well. And then uh, they actually made uh, a sequel called Box Revenge. Uh, this is actually a lot of people's favorites out of the series. There's three of them. Um, Bonk 3 actually came out on the on the Turbo Graphic CD, and there's actually a Hue card version of it. The Hue card version of it's super super rare. You're talking two hundred dollars card only, Hue card only, if you can find it. And I've only seen um, I've only seen one auction in like the last two or three years on uh, Bonks 3 uh, Hue card. But anyway, this this one's just a little bit more. You'll probably spend 25 at minimum for it in this condition uh, with the case manual and the Hue card. But um, you'll spend upwards of like 35 or 40 bucks sometimes. But I'd say it's definitely worth 25 bucks. This was my favorite Bonks uh, game. I haven't played the third one yet um, except on emulator, but uh, the third one was a lot easier, in my opinion. This one, um, it adds some new aspects to the game. Uh, really cool game. Uh, I would I would recommend buying all the Bonks games if you can. Um, at least the first two. The next game uh, I'm showing is called Legendary Axe. Again, it's uh, complete. This one's a little rougher. Sometimes you'll find them kind of rough. Um, I think I paid like five bucks for this because it's... Kind of in rough shape. The Hue card's in great shape. Uh, this was on a lot of people's um, top ten lists for Turbo Graphics. I I thought it was okay. Uh, I wasn't uh, terribly sold on this game, and uh, this is going to be on the cheaper end. Um, to find it uh, complete like this, you're going to probably spend between twenty and thirty dollars. You might spend a little bit more because, like I said, Turbo Graphics games are becoming harder to find. But it's um, it's a good game. I'd spend twenty dollars on it. Um, if I didn't have it, so, and then they they made a sequel called Legendary Axe Two. Again, it's got the this one's in better condition. And let's see, this one looks a little different. I never noticed that actually, but this is the uh, I do believe the American version of it. It works on my um, on my Turbo Graphics, but it looks a little bit different than uh, my other Turbo Graphics games. I, I just now noticed that for some reason. But anyway. Um, it's a direct sequel to Legendary Axe. I think this adds a couple new elements to it, but not nothing game-changing. It's pretty much going to play about, about the same. This one's a little more expensive. I, I, I'd i say it goes between $20 and $30 complete. And um, like I said, you you might have a hard time finding these games for the prices that I quote because uh, they're so hard to find. But if you find them auction, um, they only go for about 20 or 30 bucks. But buy it now is a little bit different. This next game was interesting. It's called Pac-Land. Um, and it doesn't play like a regular Pac-Man game. All right, that's... But anyway, um, I do believe uh, they have uh, two buttons, one and two. It's like A and B on uh, most controllers. But uh, you, use a and, you use like A to run backwards, B to run forwards, or one and two. And it's a platforming game. It's kind of strange. Uh, you have a time limit, and you try to collect uh, fruit and stuff. It's it's not a terribly fun. It's okay. Uh, and this is a really cheap game. I think you can find this complete for ten bucks on a good day. So if you if you can put ten bucks into that, it's just cool to uh, start collecting games for the Turbo Graphics. And when you start collecting games, you start wanting to get in other games like um some of the cheaper games there's a tennis game that's actually like an rpg tennis game i didn't know that until i saw reviews on it i'm really looking forward to it and uh, i'm st i'm really starting to try to to work on my turbo graphics stuff because they're gonna it's gonna be extremely hard to find here um 
But this next game is called Blazing Lasers. And this was an awesome shmups. Uh, it's it's top-down shmups. It's got a lot of cool power-ups in it. Uh, this one's, you know, basically complete. But, um... Uh, this one had uh, most of these hue cards will come with a hue card um, protector, but sometimes they won't. I'm not I'm I'm not big into the hue card protectors because uh, the plastic on it gets really sticky. And you'll find that with some of them. This one's one of those. But anyway, uh, blazing lasers, really cool, really cool uh, shmups. I highly recommend it. I paid fifty dollars for it um, in this condition, complete, and this have worth every bit of fifty dollars. It's got a really corny name, but l let me tell you, it's it's a really really cool game. So. And this next game is uh, a really cool game. It's uh, called Splatterhouse, and this one's in excellent, excellent condition. I bought, I bought this one on eBay. I uh, offered the guy forty bucks for it in this condition, and he and he accepted. So worth every bit of forty bucks to me. Uh, but it's a um, side-scrolling action game. It's one of the. It's a more mature game, which is kind of cool for the turbo graphics. Um, but it. it if you know anything about the Splatterhouse games for the Genesis, it kind of reminds me of those, definitely. So, um, I recommend that this game to, to collectors and people who like good games. It's not on a lot of top 10 lists, but it's definitely on my top 10 list. So, and this next, next game and last game I'm showing is called Kadash. And there's definitely mixed reviews on this game. It's a working one of the two or three working designs games for. Uh, Turbo Graphics. The other one that I know of is called Parasol Stars, and I'm really looking uh, to that. That's Bubble Bobble Three, but um, this one I th I believe I paid uh, forty or forty five bucks for, which actually is a uh, is a great deal for this game. And there's the Parasol Stars. Looking for that one. I can't find it for under hundred dollars complete. But anyway, uh, Kadash is is a uh, side scrolling action game as well. Um, like I said, there's mixed reviews. It's it wasn't very good to me, to be honest with you. It's more of a collectible game, and I, I like to, I like working designs games. That's why I picked it up. But I didn't I didn't watch any reviews on it. Probably should have, but I, I still think I got a good deal on it. If you can pick this up for forty or forty five dollars, just like I have, that's a great investment. It's uh, doing nothing but going up. I actually think the video game price charts on this Hue card only is like sixty five bucks. But um, that's my Turbo Graphics stuff. Like I said, I don't have a lot of them. But it's it's such a fun system, and all these games, uh, other than the Bonks Adventure, which is really uh, expensive on the NES, you won't be able to find anywhere else. And it's such an underrated system. Um, one of my favorite systems to collect for, even though I don't have many games for it. I'm trying to get more, but. Uh, Turbo Graphics was a really cool system, and it's becoming very collectible now. Um, trying to get more games, like I said, it's really hard. You're gonna have a hard time collecting for this game. A lot harder than the Sega Saturn. Like, you know, Sega Saturn, you're gonna have to spend money for the games. You're gonna have to look for these games and know what you're looking for, and know what the prices are. So you're gonna have to do some research when collecting for this system. But I, I recommend this system to anybody. Um, people that want to get into a retro system, um, look into the Turbo Graphics. Uh, about the same price, starting out as an NES. But the, the games are super unique and super fun. So, But that's my take on the Turbo Graphics. If you got any suggestions, guys, I'll leave them down in the comments. And um, thanks for watching, and uh, join me next time. See you later.